y'all. Welcome back to Simply Food by T.Y. So look, today, y'all, I am excited. Baby, I am doing a barbecue mukbang. Honey, let me tell y'all something. I got me a slab of ribs, some corn on the cob, a corn muffin, some brisket. I also have some red skin potato salad. It's probably too damn bright. Y'all probably can't see that. No how. Um... And that's pretty much it. Um, let me just get this a little bit closer so y'all, can y'all see all of that? Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. And I got this from a place called the Urban Barbecue Company. Y'all can see that there. Mm-hmm. So we gonna go on ahead and just dive right in. We ain't about to waste some time, but first let's let's say my let's say my let me say my grace real quick. Father God, hey, I thank you. For the animal you put on this planet so that they could die for me to enjoy this meal. Yarabo. I thank you for the hands that prepared this food. And I ask that you just bless it. I ask that you take away anything that is harmful from it before it goes into my mouth. And I just hope that the person who made this food hands was clean. And if they weren't, Lord, fix it for them, Jesus. In your name, I pray. We pray. Amen. Let's go. Okay, first let me try this potato salad. Now, remember how I told y'all I don't like other people's potato salads? I'm probably not going to like this, but here we go. This is the thing. This potato salad actually has the potential to be good. The only thing is, it's just a little too much mustard, and it's too much of this leafy green, whatever this leafy green is, but beyond that, it's not bad, but we, we're not about to waste no time with that. Y'all, look at this brisket. Look at that. Look at that. Um, so, I wanted to get their barbecue sauce on the side, because I was like, what if I don't like it? Um, so, this is their barbecue sauce here. And then I have some Sweet Baby Ray's, you know, Old Faithful. Let me scoot this back so y'all can, so y'all can see the sauces as well. There we go. Okay. So let me try the brisket first. Mmm. It's not bad. I still like Sweet Baby Ray's better. The brisket is a little bit on the overcooked dry side. But it's really flavorful though. Well, it's dry. Mmm. Hopefully the ribs are better. Let me put some black pepper on my corn. Oh my goodness, y'all. I cannot wait to tell y'all what I did today. Child. You know what? As a matter of fact, let me only put a little bit of this on there because of that very reason. I'm gonna need a little bit of salt, not too much. So y'all, today, I went to go get acupuncture for the first time. Honey, I walked in there and I was like, I don't even know what to expect. The wind is really blowing outside, my God. I just didn't know what to expect. All I was thinking of was First of all, is this table going to be big enough for my fat ass to get on it? Mmm. Mmm. Now that's a good piece of brisket. Mm-hmm. Um. So that was my first thought. Is the table going to be big enough for my big ass to get on? And also, are these needles going to hurt?
Have y'all ever gotten acupuncture done? If so, leave it down in the comment section below. I've never done. That potato salad ain't half bad, y'all. All right, let's try these ribs. Mm. Now, I like my ribs. I got a little napkin over there, y'all. I like my ribs to be tender, but I still like them to have a little bit of bite. Sometimes baby back ribs, I feel like, just fall too much off the bone. Uh -uh. Like, this is perfect to me. It has just enough chew. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These ribs are at. I don't know why my thing always turns blue, y'all. I really don't know why it does that. The corn is um, trifling. <laughs> that corn ain't good at all. But, so I walk in, and <laughs> the lady looked at me like she was confused. Like, what is this man doing here? <laughs> and I was like, I'm here to get acupuncture. And she was like, okay. Come on over to our little holding room. So I was like, okay. So I get over there, y'all. And I already see the room where I'm going to be. Like the door was open so like I could see like the bed and all that stuff. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These ribs are the best thing on this plate. This brisket, I'm not going to throw away. Don't worry, y'all. But I'm going to save that. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to shred her up. I'm going to make that into a taco tomorrow. So I'm just going to eat these ribs. Contrary to popular belief from what it looks like on this plate, I'm not a meat eater. Uh -uh. Not like red meat and like pork and stuff. Like I like a lot of chicken and seafood. I'm probably going to feel nauseous after I eat all this. But I'm, since I'm only eating this rack of rib, I'm not eating any more of this. The corn is... I don't know. Excuse me. I don't know what's wrong with that corn. These are cooked so good that I really don't need any sauce for them. I'm one of those people. I don't like my ribs covered in sauce. I like dry rubs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Y'all, this shit is glad. Mm.
Mm, see you later. I'm over here forgetting that y'all even on here, honey. So, he calls me into the room. We sit down, we talk, go over like medical history, you know, things of those lines. And we do that for about, uh, I'd say almost 30 minutes. Or in my mind, I, okay, this is the thing. I think in actual time, I think it was really, I think it was like 30 minutes. But I think because I was so nervous, it felt like we sat down, I said hi, and he was like, okay, get on the table. <laughs> That's how I felt. I was like, oh my God, already? I was so nervous. Child. When that man said, okay, get on the table. I was like, what? These damn ribs are good. Mm -hmm. This is my kind of tender. I don't like them when they just completely just fell off the damn bone. I like just a little bit of a bite to them. But still tender enough to where we only got to chew a few times. Y'all, I'm already full. This don't make no damn sense. I'm a big boy. But I can't. I cannot eat a lot of food. Mm -mm. I be getting full so damn fast. Mm-hmm. They got that damn thing turned blue again. I don't know why I be doing that. Oh, let me try this bread. This bread looks dry as hell. Let's see. Mm-hmm. It's dry. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. It was overcooked. Don't nobody want that. Get out of my sight. Let me try this corn again. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. That corn is nasty. Mm-mm. I'm not eating that. But, um, but yeah, y'all, so I get in there and he says, okay, take off your shoes, your socks, and your shirt, and then lay flat out on the bed, on the table. I'm like, <laughs> okay. So I get in there and lay down. And then he like starts to feel around to feel it, feel, figure out like where the muscles are tight and all of that type of stuff. And of course, today of all days is one of the days when my back is not hurting at all. So he's like, "Does that hurt? Does that hurt?" I'm like, "No, no, not at all." But he was like, "He is." He was like, "I pretty much can sense where the pain is coming in." So now we're getting close, y'all. 
to him about to put them damn needles in my back. Baby, he did the first one. And he said, are you okay? I said, huh? I said, did you do it? He had already put two in. I didn't even know. When I tell you some of them, all it felt like he had brushed my back with his nail, with his finger. I, some of them I couldn't feel at all. There was only one, which I think was like right on like the center of my back, like where my spine was. Now I felt that bitch. And I was like, now wait a damn, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was like, hold it. Um, but for the most part, I couldn't feel it at all. And so then he was like, okay, now you're just going to lay here for about 25 minutes. Just relax. Baby, when I tell you, I felt high as a kite. Now, this is the only thing. Now, you all tell me if you all have ever gotten acupuncture. Now, do any of y'all ever get cold? I can't tell if it was because that room was cold or what. Because I wasn't cold prior to taking my shirt and socks off. But it wasn't, it didn't feel like. I was cold externally. It felt like I was cold internally. Does that make sense? Like, I felt cold from the inside out. So I was like, ooh, I wonder if this is the, um, you know, the needles doing this. But he was like, something about, like, inflammation, you know, as that, as that's getting worked through, it can cause your temperature, your body to drop. So, I was like, okay. And I was nervous because, when I tell y'all, I got lit last night. If y'all was on my YouTube channel last night and y'all saw me live, <laughs> y'all saw what was going on. And I didn't realize that there's a bunch of, like, preliminary shit that you're not supposed to do. Child, you were not supposed to drink 48 hours prior to coming into that place. And 24 hours after. So I called this morning because I was like, mm-mm. This shit ain't about to kill me. I was like, let me let this man know that I was drinking last night. I was drinking last night. Uh-uh. You got to be upfront with your doctors. Don't be lying to them. When they ask you, have you done this and done that, you better say yes if you've done it. Because when they go stick your ass and then you fall out, it ain't their fault. Uh -uh. But he was like, no. That's just, you know, to get the best results. But, child, I was so damn nervous. So that's pretty much it, y'all. <laughs> that's all I really had to talk about today. Mm-hmm. These ribs were good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So next time I know, to only get the ribs. But as y'all can see, I still have almost damn near this is damn near about a half a slab left, honestly. I'm not finishing that right now, fooling with y'all. Y'all not about to have my stomach bust up. Uh-uh. I'm taking another bite of this potato salad. Yeah, babe. It's not like mine, though. I swear to goodness. I don't know what it is about potato salad. I just don't be liking other people's potato salad. Sometimes because people be doing too much. Mm -mm. Alright, but look, y'all. I'm going to let y'all babies go. I'm not going to keep y'all long. I just want to come on in, try some of this new food that I've never had before. I've been to this restaurant before. It's called Urban Barbecue. But I think I've only literally ever had their wings there. Uh, so I never had their brisket. I never had their ribs. I never had their potato salad before. I will never get the corn again. And that cornbread, that's, 
That's an abomination. But anywho, y'all know how much I love y'all, right? Thank y'all so much for tuning in. As usual, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button. Comment down below if there's any other foods that you guys want to see me try out. Um, and, you know, y'all already know how I close this bad boy out. So y'all bet me stay cute. And take care. Bye. Mm-hmm. That real was quiet.